Okay, guys, then I just want to make a video about the Lewis structures and at the same time look at the um, how we classify different um, bonds as covalent and then under covalent, polar, and non polar, or as an ionic bond. Okay, good. So, we must begin by all the atoms to the octet real, or at least all the atoms that we work with at school, except for hydrogen and helium. They only have space for two electrons, so I'll add that I in S orbital. And then ber beryllium is happy having only four electrons, and boron is happy having only six electrons. Those are on page 17 in your textbooks. Okay, so I will not so much tell you one of those outwerks that you have not seen, that you have not been aware of the outsourcing of materials. So let's quickly look at this one when we draw the structure of BF3. So B, I don't know why it's red, but let's go with it. Has three valence electrons. And each of the fluorine atoms has seven. Okay, and those must have three final. This is ectiacne. Okay, so in other words, because we know that boron will be happy having only six electrons in its outer orbital. This one is actually quite easy. Want the six gaan ons kry uit mos nou klaar hierdie drie, en dan een by elk een van hierdie. So that adds up to six electrons. So instead of having to fill it up to eight, gaan sy Lewis structuur so my net so like. En dit maak jy sal waar jy roi vloere teken nie. Okay. Like normally, we would have felt that we have to put one there and there as well, but for this one, you don't have to. And you can go and check your total amount of valence electrons add up. Okay. Goed, nou terwijl ek bezig is met hom. Kom ons werk hoe uit wat er type binding is die BF binding. Met ander woorde, die binding tussen die boer en vloer. And you guys must just go and look at that as well again. So these values you will find um, on your white notes. I told you guys, don't use the values in your textbook, use the values in your white notes. Okay, so letterlijk wat jy moet doen, is jy moet gaan sê die elektronegativiteit vir vloer is 0,4. Sorry, ek gaan my periodieke tabel. En die elektronegativiteit vir boer is 2. And you just subtract the biggest one from the smallest one to find the change in electronegativity and that is equal to 2. And now you just go and place that within one of our intervals. So, 2 letters in 0,9 in 2,1. In other words, this bond will be a polar covalent bond. Okay, so, kom ons doen, het gaan nog een van hulle, kom ons sê, jy teken CA4, en ek vraag vir jou, klassificeer vir my wat er type binding leed daar tussen hulle, dan gaan kyk jy net die verskil in elektronegativiteit, is net koolstof, minus waterstof, which is equal to 0,4, and therefore it will be a non-polar covalent bond. Okay, 